Well, how do there, chums? There's I, Captain Under Steve, and today, chums, I've installed the pack to get these stations to show up on my PC version of No Man's Sky. Yeah, it was sent over by the Bomber Boy, that Bomber Boy. So I'm going to be hitting it up and giving it a go, people. So let's jump on over into a PC game. Here we go. Chikapow! There I am. Right, there we go. Now it's working. <laughs> Took a bit of encouragement. Right, well, I might as well hit on up my save. It's a creative save. We'll fudge it. We'll go on in. And uh, hopefully we're going to see these new stations in play. Give it a try anyway, people. It's a different space station. It's a different space station, people. Right, look at that. <laughs> it's a different space station. Indeedy doody it is. Okay. Well, that's pretty darn freaking awesome, isn't it? Let's go into um, first ship view. There we go, into there. So we can see the scale a little bit better. Holy fudge, yes. Well, that's a little bit more impactful, isn't it, people in the view of us? I wonder if I can fly through here. Let's see if it's got hitboxes all done nicely. Ooh, yes! Holy fudge, that's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Oh, wow. Oh, how awesome is that, people in the view of us? And look, it's got rear thrusters on it. So this is something that I noticed on all the designs of these new space stations. They all have engines, where the old space stations didn't have engines. And although they're not sort of making the space stations move, it does make you think, well, does it mean that they might be able to transition between realms? I know, every single time there's an update, every single time I go into freaking speculation mode, every single time I manage to link it back to the freaking void and the realm of glass, but it does make you wonder if we stick a freaking station override in these things, whether it's going to do something freaking gnarly. Well, that's that one, and that does look freaking epic, doesn't it, people in the view of us? I might do a collection of photos of these, thank you. Yes. Might as well, mind I chuck them all on freaking on tinterwebs or whatever. I'm not too sure how to do blinking screenshots on this, though. <laughs> For fudge's sake! Well, people, I am back, and it looks like we can go there. So let's do this. Hold on. There we go. We're going to a pirate system now, people, because I managed to get some warp drives. They're only C-class freaking modules, and I've bought enough of them so I can warp. Right, well, we have arrived located in a pirate area of space, people. So let's have a look at this space station and see if it looks any different. Because pirate space stations are normally blown up. And look at that. It's the old kind of space station. It's not a new type of space station. So I'd imagine the abandoned ones are going to be the old space stations as well. But while we're here, let's just have a look at the rear end of it. And you'll see there's, there's no engines on the back of these things. See? They're just flat. So, yeah. Anyway, so there we go. That's a, that's a that's something, isn't it? The pirate stations have remained the same as the old stations. Let's just jump to another system. Let's go there. We're go Let's go to a Korvac system, a Viking system, and a Gex system, and see if we can spot any subtle differences. Okay. Yeah. Lots of experiments in the people in the universe. Okay, right. Well, it looks like we've arrived, okay? Inside of another system now, people. Let's go and have a look at this Corvax station and see if we can spot anything with this Corvax station. Okay, well, it's quite round in, in sort of configuration. It's quite small in configuration. It's kind of got this barrel sort of thing going on with it. I don't know whether the first system was a Corvax system or not. I wasn't really paying much attention. Well, that's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. That's really, that's really quite sweet, isn't it? Let's fly through here then. Fly out through the opposite side. Meow. Let's spin this around. Let's have a look at the outside of this one. Okay, yeah, it's got lots of thrusters in it. I, I've got a feeling that maybe the first station that we saw was maybe a callback system, and a, a station perhaps. Yeah, that's quite a tidy little sort of station, isn't it? That one. Right, well, let's just go into camera mode. Boom. 
Let's get rid of all that on the screen. And there we go, I'll take a photo of that one. Pow! I really don't think it takes a picture. There we go, I think it's right, freaking mouse button. Oh no, that's it is exit, apparently. There we go, we've got ourselves a screenshot anyway, so that was a Corvax system. Let's just make sure my warp port fuel is definitely up to the nines. Okay. Right, so that's a callback system. Let's try Gek now, people. So if I go into life form, so it's not that one. What's this one? Oh, it's Viking. Okay, we sod it. We'll go to Viking. We'll go to Gek next, people. Okay, right, so this is a Viking system. Let's take a look at the Viking station and see if it looks much different to that previous one we were at. Yeah, I'm unlocking journey milestones, but that's because I haven't really used this save. So. Holy fudge. This one's a bit freaking spiky, isn't it? It's very spiky. Okay, I like it. Now, that's really quite something, isn't it? That does look freaking cool, doesn't it? I really hope that they do something with the interiors to make them feel a little bit more race specific. I'm going to try flying through this opening up here. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> now they look very much like the Colossal Archives, don't they? Oh dear, can't do that. Alright, fine. Not sure if we can fly through this opening here then. Fudge let's, let's go for it. Look at yours. Well, there's quite a lot of little pylons in here. Well, made it though. Brilliant. Okay, let's see if there's engines on the back of this one too, people. There is. There's engines on the back of this one as well. So it does seem that these new stations kind of feel like, I don't know, if we put the station override, do you think it might warp them to another system or something? Sort of like into another reality. Yeah, I know. It's, I shouldn't speculate, but I just can't help myself. Can't help myself, people. It does look freaking great, though, doesn't it? That does look really cool. It does look more like a spaceship. It does look more like a space station. Right, okay, well, let's try Gek then. Let's try a Gek one. Boom. Let's go into the filters, go to life form. And I think we haven't done yellow yet. So there we go. We're going there. We're going to a Gek Mercantile area, I suppose. I guess. Let's go. Right, notice so this is a Gek system that we're arriving now, people. Let's go and have a look. See, my theory would be that it's more round than the others, but we'll have a look. Now, what I could do, just to make sure that my theory is actually correct, is maybe jump to another Viking system and see if it's equally as spiky as that first one that we went to, the Viking one, you know. Oh, fudge and heck. Okay, well, this is more triangular, isn't it? That's really quite cool. What the actual flying fudge, mate? Okay, uh, let's go into camera mode on this one. Let's put the sun behind me over there. Boom. Spin this back around. Oh my days. That's insanely big. Holy fudge and nori. Well, I was I was under the impression that a lot of these um, new stations only had the colour green, but that looks like it's got red on it, doesn't it? Take a picture of that one. Wow. Okay, cool. I think I've got that one. Oh no, I didn't I didn't get it. Well, let's fly it. Fly away a little bit, and let's see if we can get a bit more distance. I want to get this whole freaking thing in. I didn't take a picture of the Viking one, so we'll go back to the Viking system in a bit anyway, people. And see if it is spiky. But then again, this one is fairly spiky as well. Maybe it's not a theory. Who knows? Let's stick the sun over there. Yeah, look, it's got a, it's definitely got a red and green sort of panel to it there when the sun hits it. That is freaking epic. I guess this. Photo done! And there we are, done. Alright, fine. Well, let's um, let's jump to another Viking system. Or a Gek one, to be fair. <sighs> Doesn't really matter, does it? We've seen all three now, let's just see if there's a pattern. Let's go to another Viking one, anyway. Is that Viking? That's Viking. I can jump all the way over here. And then I think I might go to a data system unavailable one. An abandoned system, people. And see if that's still broken and empty. Righto, people. Well, this is a Viking area of space, and this one looks very different from the previous Viking one that I went to, so I don't know whether that's a working theory or not, peeps. But look at this. This one's got even, like, little mini side thrusters on the side of it, and it's got that ring around it, like the Gek one did. So I don't know whether this is actual race-specific or what. I mean, they, 
it could just be completely random, but then I think stations always have been, haven't they? They haven't been very race specific. I was really hoping that they might add something more into it. It's like it's got all this sort of an illusion that it's got all these windows and lights all over it. It almost feels like it should be a lot more hospitable than what we're seeing inside. Now, also I'm thinking they look a little bit like the actual Colossal Archives, don't they? They really do. Part of me wonders whether the Colossal Archives are now going to beam data up to the stations and the stations are going to beam data up to these, meaning that maybe the stations and maybe the Colossal Archives might share something in common. Who freaking knows? Anyways, I'm going to get a photo of this one, so let's, uh, let's just move away from it a little bit. Let's try and get a little bit of depth of field into this thing. Let's spin it around and uh, let's uh, get a photo of that. Holy heck. That is pretty darn cool, isn't it? Right, camera mode. And take that away. Spin over there. Hit the sun. Yeah, see what I mean? They're all sort of green, aren't they, in colour? And that's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Right, let's get a photo of that then. Chicka pow! Chicka boom! Ah! Right, well, I think I took more than enough screenshots of just plain space there. Right, let's go to an abandoned system of space, then, people. There we go, boom. Abandoned system of space. Right, now this could be quite difficult to locate. That one's totally abandoned. The bottom one has to say data unavailable. So the, where it says the conflict zone, that needs to be empty. And when you're not looking for them, they pop up all the bloody time. And then when you are looking for them, they're really hard to come across. I mean, we saw one earlier. I did plot a, a waypoint to it, but I think that waypoint's cleared because I had to do a little bit of a reload, didn't I? Oh, no. Hold on. Is that it over there? Yes, that's it there. Ha <laughs> ha! My waypoint stayed there. We're on our way. Right, so it's an abandoned area of space, so the space station should be the old style of space station, be broken to heck and be flashing red and angry. Yeah, it's the old space station type. Let's fly on in. You see where it says SPAC station as well? That's what it's been doing for some time now. And when you fly in, it does something rather curious if you're in cockpit view. Let me go back to cockpit view. Boom. Because once you fly on in, at the moment it says incoming message as hailing, but that was changed to a welcome home. And it's quite an ominous message when you go inside. It might not because I've got this bloody incoming message. Yeah, hold on. Let's just let's see if we can get rid of that blinking incoming message. Go away! I'm trying to blink and show something. Okay, fine, whatever. Right, look, see that? It now says welcome home. Into May Hub. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Oh, it looks like I'm being getting be getting myself a freaking thing that I don't need, a settlement. Anyway, let's jump on over here. I'm going to use this teleporter and I'm going to teleport back to the previous station that I was at. And hopefully, we're just going to see if the ship's flying through the ceiling, just because I'm curious. Alright, space stations. Boom. And I think that might be the previous one. Alright, fine. We'll go there. Wow! Okay, people, well, it looks like they're still flying in through the actual ceiling of the station. It doesn't look like that's actually fixed it. I saw that one flying through the actual roof of the station. Anyway, yeah, and that one, look, that one just flew in. Let's just make sure that this is definitely the new style of station. Let's just fly on out, shall we, people? Okay, right, whatever. Oh, there we go. It is taken off now. The joypad's working, so that's cool. That's all fixed. It's got those sort of gnarly things sticking out the front of it. So let's uh, go into the old camera mode. Let's spin this around. Heck yes, look at that for a picture, people. So it is the new station, but they're still flying in through the ceiling, which makes me wonder whether they might do something with the interiors of these as well, is what I'm thinking, people. I mean, I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to think, or like to hope that they are anyway, people. So there we go, I've got a nice little picture there. So anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quit out to desktop. Boom. And I've got something to show you guys on my desktop anyway. So let's go on over to my reaction camera. Boom! And there we are. Now you can see my laptopy screen there, peeps. And what I'm going to do is go on over to uh, YouTube and I'm going to bring up my community tab. I haven't been out long, so you can always chime into this, but the thing is, I'm doing the video now. 
So, yeah, so I put in the new station shells found in the No Man's Sky game files and then my little video. What do you think is most likely from the below to be the case? Been assured that these new shells aren't created in Blender and a mod was used to pull them from being inactive to being active. Not seeing something you like, add a comment. We'll be making a video soon. Well, this is that video. Okay, so 11% of people feel that it's just look and feel from the outside, nothing large. Other people, 10% says station core and the landing pad count hints at a bigger inside. Yeah, so you know when you go to the station core at the back of the station, you hit it up, it shows flight paths, and there's more flight paths than there are landing pads. And now I did make a video a little while ago. I put the video up there, and I said it's obvious that a station overhaul is coming. <laughs> I made it about a year ago, so it wasn't round the corner, was it? Okay. Hope this means a full-on station overhaul and ownership override. So we have the station overrides as well, and hopefully we might be able to gain ownership of the station, and 61% of people feel that it means it's that. So it looks like the consensus is definitely leaning that way. Stations look like the archives now, perhaps interactions only 3%. And then 15% says, I kind of think it looks like a blender scam, not real. If it is a blender scam, whoever's done it has put so much freaking work into it. Hello Games needs to hire them, in my opinion, because these stations look freaking great. They really do. So if I pop on down to here, we've got, I don't know, No Man's Sky says, I wonder if it'd be like settlements with old and new models representing class type. Upgrade and customize out to a certain point, perhaps procedural interiors. We know they can. That would be cool. Since these look a lot bigger, like they've got little windows all over them and stuff, it'd be nice if there was a more complex inside, as long as that complex inside actually did something. Because that's a, that's a complaint of mine with the uh, settlements. There's loads of buildings and nothing to do there. A race of robotic moving in and taking over some abandoned systems. A new race of robotics. Oh, well, I've gone to the abandoned systems, Pierre. It's not looking like the abandoned systems have been given any love inside of this sort of thing, but who knows? A little while ago, when they'd done the freighter overhaul, when they'd done the freighter overhaul, there was actually lifts inside the game files. We didn't get them, okay? So sometimes things that are inside the game files don't come into the game. It's just Hello Games doing a bit of experimenting. They might have looked at these new station types and said, you know what? That looks a bit too elite dangerous. We're not putting these in, but aren't they cool? They might have just been playing around. And with it, ship customizer. <laughs> Solid moon. Okay. Well, fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. You never know. But I, I'm, I don't know about that one. I don't. I, I'm not going to make that leap from seeing station shells, but you never know. <laughs> Maximum override station core, please! <laughs> yeah. That's like Casper Sites. I do love Casper Sites. Daniel King and Hi to Hall, who was watching the comments playback video of Cup of Tea with Captain Steve. Yeah, haven't got a cup of tea with me, but I am going to put this together as a cup of tea with Captain Steve video. How reliable is the source? Has anyone else found this? If not, then it's probably a hoax. If real, then it's probably an external cosmetic update with a rework overhaul of the interior. Maybe add proc gen elements to the interior, maybe add in city deck with different shops and other things to interact with. Hopefully we can finally use the station overrides to summon the ships we want to buy. Wanting the R&D gods to generate the ship you want is just terrible design choice. I agree, it's dead gaming, totally. I think station ownership would be rehashed of settlements. There's little or nothing that could be done with the station ownership that could be done better with bases or settlements. The only thing I can see station ownership being useful for is maybe tweaking system parameters, conflict level, economy level, economy type, and repopulating abandoned systems. Well, if they do give us station ownership, I would like it that you can set a station as your hub zone. And so then you can set up maybe guilds and have like little player interactions and maybe even launch multiplayer missions from the station rather than the Nexus. Because the Nexus or the Anomaly, whatever, is like a free for all and people can hold that mission open. It can really scupper you at weekends. It does me on Fridays. You've probably seen that countless times happen to me. Not a Blender scan, but somebody playing with an AI paint program for kicks and views. I don't know about that because I've just installed it, mate. <laughs> It's definitely not an AI pain program. You just saw it in freaking action right here, right now. And no, it's not a Blender scam either. I mean, this comes from the modding community over on Discord, where a few of them have actually hit this up now. I mean, I've hit it up too. 
and you do need to run a mod to get it to work but all it's doing is going into the game files and it's swapping the actual shell that we've got for well, I guess the normal stations of space with these new ones but this could just be the tip of the iceberg hello games might have plans for the abandoned systems and also the, uh, the pirate systems I don't know I don't know, until this becomes a legit thing, at the moment, the way that I'm sitting on this is it's, it's either something that's coming in an update, or it's something that Hello Games have been playing about with that we might not ever see come into game. A bit like the Station Override. <laughs> a bit like the freaking Incinerator. A bit like lifts for freighters. There's a lot of things. It's, it's like the Solar Helmet. They even put it on their patch notes. It's not in game. It's like the Sentinel ship trails for our freighters. They're still locked and they've been locked for nearly a year. So <laughs> there's a lot of things going on there, people, that it might not be. It might not be anything. It might just be Hello Games having a little poke about, seeing what they can do artistically and saying, does that fit with the game's aesthetics? So maybe that's a better question I should have put out there. Do you think these stations look better for the aesthetics of No Man's Sky, or do you think it takes it away from its original design piece? I think they tie nicely into the current archives that we've got on planets, and it makes them feel more relatable to what we're seeing down on the planets with those colossal archives. Colossal archives for me are massive and colossal, but they have very little to do. Again, just like, you know, a puddle. <laughs> it's like wide as an ocean, deep as a puddle, isn't it? And stations kind of feel that way. They look massive on the outside. You go inside, they're tiny. They're like an inverse frickin' TARDIS at the moment. So I'm hoping if they do overhaul the outside, they do something with the inside. And something that for me is all of these have engines on them, which gives a sense of movement, even though they're not moving. It does make me wonder whether they might be able to jump realities. It's like the Nexus, the Nexus or the Space Anomaly. That has engines on the back and that jumps in and warps in whenever it wants. I'm wondering whether the station overrides might do something more than just shut down Sentinel Police and that system, but it might not. Now, I did do a um, speculation video on the three things that I think the station override might do. The beep. There's one plausible in there. There's one that... It feels like it's logical with the way all the sort of laws go in. And then there's one that's completely out there. Okay? And that's kind of the way that I want to do speculation now, is give about three different examples. Is it going to be this, this, or this? And it's like these station shells. I kind of think that it might be cosmetic overhaul just to the outside. Just to the outside. That's the lame one. That's the, that's the thing that I think is most plausible, though. And then the next one... Maybe it's going to give more functionality to the inside. Maybe the outside and the inside is going to be more race specific. So the Viking, it's going to be obvious that it's a Viking station from the outside. And when you fly inside, it's going to be even more obvious that it's a Viking system. Maybe it's going to have trophies hanging around. You go in a Gek one, it's more lavish. And it's got a Gek nip maybe splattered about the place. You go into a Corvax one and it's more sort of in keeping with what we've seen before. And more sort of techy, you know, and more scientific is what I would like to see. I'd like to see them fleshed out a bit on the inside and the outside, to be fair. And also, it, the flight path initiator sort of hints that there might be more landing pads coming into the game. So I'm wondering whether they're going to expand it out anyway. It's like when you go on expeditions and you try to fly into the station, if there's a load of people already in it, you just get stuck in the front door. So maybe they are going to put extra landing pads in there. I don't know. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. And the one that's really out there is you hit up the station override in the back and it warps you into the realm of glass or the void. Yeah, probably never going to happen. Probably never going to happen. But they're my free speculation ideas. If you've got different ideas, put them inside of the video comments. I would love to read them. Heck yes, I would. But until next time, people, that's everything that I've got for you. But I might be firing up this modded version of No Man's Sky with these stations in. We'll do a little bit of jumping, upgrade my starship in some of these stations. Maybe look for another starship, because I don't really like the Raza. We're going to have a look what we can find, shall we, people? So come and join me for that. Hopefully I'll be doing that in the week. So just um, hit that notification bell, and hopefully you get notified when I go live with this. Anyway, until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.